Starship it integrates with the world's leading domestic and international couriers, so you can automate your order's courier and service allocation in one place. In this tutorial, we'll run through how to integrate your courier accounts and set up your default options. You can use our Getting Started wizard to begin integrating your courier accounts. Integration requirements differ depending on the provider, so we've added specific instructions for each. Where possible, Starship it will contact the courier on your behalf to retrieve the required credentials. In this example, I'll integrate DHL Express. To begin, from the Getting Started wizard, select Couriers. Click Add New Row, then select a courier from the list. This will either prompt you for an account number or provide you with next steps for the integration. Next, I'll enter my DHL Express account number and submit the request. A notification tells me that this specific integration can take several days to process. In this case, Starship it will contact DHL to request the credentials. You may also be contacted depending on the courier. From here, the support documentation will be linked in the right hand column. Be sure to check this as there will be more detailed information specific to the courier and you may need to take further action. For some couriers, you'll need to make contact yourself, for example Australia Post. I'll select Add New Row, then Australia Post. The app tells me that I need to contact them for setup. Here I can access the support article and follow the steps to integrate. For this example, I already have my DHL Express credentials, so we'll complete the integration manually. To check what other credentials are needed, I can head into the support article linked on the right. Here I can see that for this integration, along with my account number, I also need the XML PI username and password. Once I have this info, I can jump into settings, then couriers. Add a new courier, then select DHL Express from the list. I can then enter the credentials and save. Finally, I need to add my product codes for the services I want to access. In my case, WPX for the international service and DOM for domestic. Use the Add Existing Product Code drop-down to see the full list. From the order screen, I can go into an order and see my new DHL services are available to use. Note that there may be more detailed courier-specific settings in the Advanced tab, for example DHL's Paperless Trade. Contact your courier or Starship at support for help if you need it. Now that my courier is integrated, I can also set a default service for domestic and international orders by going to Settings, then Couriers. I'll go into the DHL Express settings and in the Product Code section, enable the default checkbox for the services I want to use. I can now go back into the courier settings and select these services as defaults. Check for links in the video description and visit our knowledge base for more helpful tips and tutorials.